How does the universe make gold? Let me take you on a journey that starts in the heart of a cosmic catastrophe. Two neutron stars colliding in a blazing kilonova. Picture this. Two city-sized, ultra-dense stars, each packing more mass than our sun, spiralling closer and closer together until, BAM! They crash, unleashing a kilonova explosion that's brighter than a billion suns. During this epic event, about 5% of their combined mass, roughly three solar masses, gets blasted into space. That's nearly a million times the weight of the entire planet Earth. And considering Earth weighs about 6 billion trillion tons, we're talking about a mind-melting amount of matter. Even the Earth's entire atmosphere only weighs a tiny fraction of that, around 5 million billion tons. But here's the wild part. In the furnace of that kilonova, elements are forged, especially gold. The pressure and heat are so intense that neutrons slam into atoms, building new, heavier elements in split seconds. This is where gold is born, literally out of stardust. Now, fast forward billions of years, the gold-rich debris from the kilonova drifts through space, eventually becoming part of the giant cloud that forms our solar system. As the cloud collapses, it spins into a disk, giving birth to the Sun and planets, including Venus and Earth. Gold gets locked deep inside the forming Earth, some of it in the core, some in the crust. For ages, it's hidden, trapped beneath mountains and oceans. But thanks to volcanic eruptions and tectonic shifts, gold slowly makes its way toward the surface, ready for discovery. And that's where humans come in. Ancient miners would pan rivers for gold flakes or dig simple pits, dreaming of fortune. Fast forward to modern times and gold mining is on a whole new level. Giant machines, deep underground tunnels and open pit mines carving out mountains to extract the precious metal. Once extracted, gold gets refined and shaped into coins, bars and jewellery, symbols of wealth and power. Some of these bars find their way to legendary vaults like Fort Knox in the United States or the Bank of England on Bullion Road. These places hold staggering amounts of gold, trillions of dollars worth stored behind thick walls and heavy doors. So the next time you see a gold necklace or a shiny coin, remember, you're holding a fragment of a cosmic explosion. A treasure that's travelled from the heart of a dying star through the birth of our planet all the way to the vaults of human civilization. Gold isn't just a precious metal. It's a reminder of our connection to the universe, forged in the heat of cosmic chaos and carried across billions of years right into the palm of your hand.